All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn about some of the most useful aggregate functions that you will end up using. And that is sum, max, and min. So basically, you've seen already count, right? You've seen count already. But I want to show you how to use the max, min, and then sum. And once you know how to use these, then to use the rest is very straightforward. And basically, once you understand your data, and the information that you want to retrieve out of it, then you can come to this link right here and see what functions are available. So the first thing that I want you to do is to create a brand new table using Mockaroo. And this will allow us to generate a thousand rows into a table called car. So right here. So go ahead and add a field called ID. This will be the row number, then make for the actual make of the car and the type is car make and then model and the type will be car model and then a price so we have a price and this will be of type money and finally go ahead and give the actual table a name so car and also include the create table and the format has to be sql go ahead and download and now you can see that we have car.sql I'm going to open that up and this will be big and then serial, not null and then primary key and the rest will actually, let's increase the, the make and the model to 100. So this will be 100 and both not and then null and for the price, this will be of type numeric and the precision will be 19 and then 2. And this should also be not and then no. And I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so you can download this file and have the exact same data as I do. So now I want to go to PSQL and basically I just want to execute that file. So if you remember, so if I do backslash and then question mark, you see that we have this option right here, which executes commands from a file. So I'm going to press Q and then backslash and then I. And if we want to know the actual path for the actual file, go ahead and pretty much just type PWD. Make sure you navigate to the actual folder downloads in my case. And then if I do an LA, you can see that I've got this car.sql. So this is what I need. So I'm going to copy this path right here and then go back, paste that forward slash and then car.sql. Enter. And now you can see that we have a bunch of inserts. If I do select and then start from car, and you can see that now we have a bunch of cars. And one thing that I actually forgot is if you go back to Mokuru, just make sure that the price is between a nice range. So in my case, I've chose between 10,000 and 100,000. It could be way bigger than that, obviously, but just for this video, let's go ahead and keep the range a bit small. So this is all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the sum, max, and min aggregate function. This is all for now. Join me in the next video.